Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Give you a little fist bump and say howdy. Our subject for today is, oh, and by the way, this is my 400th sales video. Oh my goodness. So uh, I just want to say, wow, on the two channels that I have under Gary Lee Stanley or Gary Lee Stanley sales guy, that's me. Okay, here we go. Our subject for today is selling. When do you stop calling a customer for their business? What do you say? I said selling. When do you stop calling on customers for their business? You know, I've been in sales in one form or capacity since the 80s. And I'm going to tell you what, this is one of the rules of thumb that I've come up with. Because I had this guy a long time ago put it in my brain. And he said, Gary, even if you don't sell something today, keep going back. And I was like, well, why? Aren't you going to make the people mad or get them all upset and everything? He said, until they say, do not call me or do not come to my property again, the door is still open for a conversation. So my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And one of the things that I've learned in selling is you got to keep going for the business, baby. See, what happens is, is people have things going on in their lives. Uh, I do a lot of business to business, door to door selling, and I talk to people a lot of times when it's at an inconvenient time, or maybe they're not even there. Maybe I've left some documentation there at their door, hopefully that they'll call. And a lot of times they don't call. So sometimes what happens is, is in a selling cycle, I go back out there to where the customers are at. I work on Saturdays, you know, sometimes, and I also work Monday through Friday, but sometimes I need to go back. So what I do is I create my lead list. I have a lead list of people who I haven't talked to. I have a lead list of people who I have talked to, and I have a lead list of people that, you know, maybe I should give them another shot because they didn't say no. They just basically said not at this time. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means there's still an opportunity to sell something, especially I'm telling you what, it, sometimes you'll get people at the wrong time. Maybe they've got something going on in their lives and affordability may not fit in their budget. Maybe they've got some event coming up or maybe somebody's told them no or you, they've said no because their significant other at the time said, no, we ain't got time. No, we can't afford it or whatever. But see, here's the key to success. Keep going back. Remember, our topic for today is selling. When do you stop calling on a customer for the business? You don't. Again, like I said, I've had customers just like the one that I helped sign up today with, for their services, okay? I sign these people up, and it's been three months. What I do is I send out texts. I pick up the phone sometimes and call and say, hey, how are you doing? Just wanted to check on you, see if you had any more questions. And then sometimes I'll just text them some pictures of the information that I have on about the customer and I remember them and they're like a lot of times see I take pictures with customers sometimes and sometimes if I want to add more to a sale maybe give them another opportunity to maybe give me a referral or maybe ask them hey did you want to go ahead and get this other thing that we had talked about I always text and leave little breadcrumbs little hints that I'm still around I want them to know that they're important you know I'm always remembering people's special occasions their kids their birthdays and I just like to stay on top of things like that because, like I said, sometimes you have to work it, but you have to work it over a period of time. Now, some people, they're hustlers. They want to get that sale the first time, and if they didn't, they get frustrated or they just say, screw it. I don't need to go back, and I don't need to see these people. Well, that's okay. You go ahead and keep doing that, and what I'm going to do is keep writing up sales that you threw away because you know how hard it is to create leads or to have people... Uh, that you had a conversation with prior, give you an opportunity. Listen, you just got to remember this one thing. If you leave a customer, someone that, that wasn't interested or they had something going on at the time and, and they just you couldn't close the sale, 
you leave them in a positive way. You leave them in such a way where you're like, well, you know, I feel, I understand, you know, I'm going to get back with you at another date and see if things work out for you. I hope everything works out for you. You know, I just want to make sure because if they're showing me any kind of, uh, like interest at all, and they're asking questions, but for whatever reason, I didn't close the cell. That is an opportunity for another opportunity. Do you hear what I said? That's another opportunity for another opportunity. And because you've broken that ice, you're not like cold calling anymore. You're doing what they call a warm call. A warm call is, yeah, they may be interested, maybe, maybe not. But at least it's an avenue. Hey, do you remember me? This is Gary. I was out there. We talked to you about that particular product and everything. And, you know, you had some issues going on. How's everything going? And sometimes people will talk to you. It's a numbers game. I'm just telling you guys, it is a numbers game. And then if you're in sales, when is it the when do you stop calling on customers for their businesses? <sighs> I've got some customers that I dealt with last year. And I've got some customers that I've dealt with two years ago. So what I'm sharing with you is, is get you a little Rolodex, get your leads, write those ones that you think, well, there's a possibility. If you go out to people's houses and they ain't there, write you a zip code list of all the houses that you didn't talk to somebody in and go back and see them. Sometimes I've gone to people's houses four or five times and then went fifth or sixth time that's when they were there and I was able to have a short conversation with them. Even if they didn't buy anything from me, I left the door open so that way we can have another selling conversation. Like I said, people want to own stuff. They want to buy stuff. But sometimes we call at the most inappropriate times. They either at work, they got family, they're eating dinner, they got somebody, the kids is in the way, they got all kinds of issues, which are like tissues and they pop up all the time. But how dare I not give that customer the respect that they deserve because see here's the thing if you leave a bad taste in a customer's mouth because you were rude obnoxious oh man those people were me blah blah i'm gonna tell you what you just lost the connection see this is what we do we're customer service agents we're salespeople. we're service agents we are our relationship builders And see, if you're planning on staying in sales for a long time, you want to build up your pipeline. You want to build up. And what does that mean? That means you want to talk to as many people as you can. So that way you can go back and have these conversations. You want to be able to have these selling conversations. Sometimes it takes three, four, five, six, seven times before you actually get a chance to close a sale. You know, I've had some customers in the past that were at first, they were really mean and stuff. And I just kept calling on them and I was like very polite and very cordial and just letting them know I was out there, you know, and you know, I just, I just feel as though there's a connection. We all have a connection and all you have to do is believe in your product. You have to believe in what you're selling. You've got to have some stamina. Because sometimes, like I said, you can go out there and try to create business and look for new business, but hey, if you've had a conversation with somebody, you've got business right in front of you. Yeah, I said it. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you some things that a lot of salespeople don't talk about. A lot of times people are one check wonders. If they don't get the sale right then, they call it a bust. Well, I call it a bust for me because that means you ain't going to go back out there and try to sell them. And I'm going to. I'm going to give them, like I said, I know it may sound kind of crazy, but I do this because a lot of people won't do it. I go back and I keep talking to people. I just, it don't take much time to text somebody. It don't take much time to go back and see people, especially if you're in the same area. And see, I get my leads and stuff like that. So what I do is I get a bunch of them. And a lot of times they ride around in the same neighborhood. So what I do is I make a day of it. I set up my daily uh, list of people who I haven't talked to or who are people who I have talked to, and I go back and see these folks. And the reason being is because I like to make what they call cha-ching. The cha-ching machine is the money, honey. And if you're trying to be a salesperson, that's what we do. We work on commission. So if you got some opportunities where you got to call people and, and get your leads out, if you go out business to business or door to door and you're out there in their areas and stuff, make the time and set yourself up a, a list. Just do it. I mean, it really works because sometimes I have about 10 or 15 leads that I hadn't talked to in over a year, but see, they still need my product. They still need to have somebody like me knock on their door, pick up that phone, text them and tell them, Hey, 
I'm here. What have you done for me lately? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But see, seriously, guys, our subject is selling. When do you stop calling on a customer for the business? You know, I love sales. I love the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And sometimes, after a while, you run out of leads and the new ones. And maybe you don't have enough money or maybe you don't want to. Maybe it's like, you know, the company you work for gives you so many leads. But see, what will happen is, is if you have a stack of leads, you're not like that other salesperson who's only got like one or two or three or four. And you got like 30 because you never did talk to those customers. So who's going to have a better chance to sell them more? Uh, just say it. Think about it. So when you get these leads and you think they're old and you haven't used them and you didn't close them or they just said no at the time, doesn't mean you can't go back and revisit with them. You can't knock on their door. Hey, remember me? I'm back. You know, remember the last time we had this little short conversation? Or, hey, I know you were real busy the last time. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that I was still thinking about you. And if you had a conversation with a customer and there just didn't work out for whatever reason, you You've got an intro you still can go back out there and sell, sell something because i've had people say you know oh man you know i was just thinking about that the other day oh you know the other day i was just thinking about you the other day but i didn't have your number and see by you going back out there and doing your research knocking on their doors more than just once okay you're going to have a better opportunity to sell your products it works if you work it but you got to live it we're salespeople. are we make gold and things happen only because we work at it like I said, I've seen a lot of people say, I don't believe in be backs. Oh, they'll never come back. I'll never go see them. I, those people will never buy because they just will blah, 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 blah. Okay, maybe they didn't buy right then and there. Now, if you're working in a re real, a real, uh, a, a real uh, a place like a mall or a store or something like that, you may have sometimes be backs come back. A lot of times they may not. But see, if you get their number, you can always call them and say, hey, listen, Mr. Whatever your name is, we got a special coming this week. And I remember because I wrote down that you were looking for this particular lamp and you told me if it ever went on sale that I should give you a call. Did you hear what I said? That's retail selling, baby. And I'm going to tell you what, I've had a lot of people come back and get sofa sets, bedroom suits from me, mattresses, a lot of things that I sold when I worked in the retail business because I got their telephone number and I asked them, well, if you were, I know you already bought this bedroom suit, but what are you thinking about possibly getting down the road? And they said, well, you know, maybe in a year, maybe six months or something, I might get a, a, a new whatever. It doesn't matter. You write that list down. You get that list. And what you do is you'll have, while everybody's sitting around waiting for somebody to come knock at their door and come in there and you got to wait in line, you're, you're calling customers. Say, hey, listen, we just got that brand new bedroom suit in. You were looking at it and you were talking about, hey, once you pay down a little bit on your car, you were thinking about getting that new mattress. Oh, we've got to sell. Let me tell you all about it and see customers go oh 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 because see if they gave you their telephone number and you have an idea of what they want and you've got the date that they purchased their other merchandise and you have an idea of, of when it's going to be paid off based on financing you've got an opportunity for another sale okay it's just that's how you work it you got to work it baby selling when do you stop calling a customer for their business never until they say, don't call me no more. Please don't come see me no more. I've hardly ever had anybody do that. Now, I ain't saying it ain't never happened. Because I'll tell you what, after a while, you know, customers who may not really be customers, they're, they're done. So once they're done, you know, at least you've done your job. You've done your job. We're salespeople. We're supposed to sell stuff. We ain't supposed to go, hey, did you want to go ahead and get that? And then when they say, no, we don't write it up, and then we give up? Are you kidding me? Even if you don't sell something, just got to be nice to customers. They want to buy stuff. And if you leave them in a positive way, with a big old smile on your face, you got their telephone number, you can text them and say, hey, I was thinking about you. Hey, do you think y'all might be interested in this? Remember the retail thing there, guys. I had a lot of customers when other people, when I was selling furniture and electronics and stuff, they'd be sitting on the sofa waiting for somebody to come in and I'm already calling people. Hey, we got that new recliner. We got that new. We got that new. We got that new. And what I've done is I've built referrals. I've built future business. 
because we got to plant the seed. Even if you don't get a sale and you're out there knocking on the doors, calling people over the phone, leave them nicely. Oh, don't worry about it. I know things are really going on right now. Hey, but you try to ask for the order. Did you want to go ahead and get that? And when they say yes, write it up and keep going. But see, if they don't, don't give up on that. Sometimes you got to close over and over and over before the customer goes, eh, I think I'll go ahead and get that. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing is, if you're out there selling, remember, selling, when do you stop calling a customer for their business? You know, never. So do yourself a favor. Go out there and ask for the order. But if you ain't, you ain't selling or if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a great conversation about when do you stop calling a customer for their business. And my motto in this regard is, if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. And never give up on a customer because you never know that next phone call, that next appointment could be the day they buy. All right.